Bonjour. Hello and welcome to my channel. Sarah Seer Tarot. I am Sarah. The birds, the chickadees were just outside. They're called Gichikichikinache in Ojibwe. Um, first thing we'll do is light some sage and clear out any negative energies that may be here. Spirits, ancestors, and guides, please guide me for my highest good today. Let me bring forth a message for those that are listening. Also light some cedar. Here, crackling. And a candle for the ancestors. Angel of God, my garden dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light, to guard, to rule and guide. From simple stain will keep me free, and at this hour my helper be. I like to pray to the, the angel of God prayer every day. Okay. We're going to use the Sacred Traveler deck, Oracle deck, to get a feel for what's going on for today. What is going on today? Everybody's getting ready to make their New Year's resolutions. I pulled out the Traveler deck because I've been feeling like I want to travel somewhere. First card that comes out is overcoming obstacles. You can overcome anything. There's a sword and a stone there. It actually looks like a big gigantic peach. Embracing enthusiasm. Shout to the heavens with happiness. That woman's just looking at the butterflies and being really happy. been unusually warm around here lately. It's almost January and there's no snow on the ground. Strange, strange, strange. And <laughs> traveling lightly, simplify your life. And underneath, oh, this, this card showed up when I was cutting the deck. Miracles. Miracles, baby. Expect the wondrous to emerge. He's got a lamp there. Looks like he's a genie. A genie in the lamp. Some kind of miracle is about to happen for you. Great. I'm going to use the Light Seer's deck. Get three cards for you, three cards for the situation, and three cards for the outcome. And then we'll look at blocks. And advice, and what else Spirit wants you to know. And of course, clarify anything. Okay, what is 
Give me some cards for the, your energy. <laughs> Maybe you're coming into some kind of windfall. We have the Knight of Cups. Looks like you're in some loving energy. The two of wands looking to go out in the world and do something, prospecting. And eight of pentacles, it has to do with your work. Hmm. And then the situation that you're dealing with is the five of pentacles feeling left out of something woman's feeling pretty forlorn but you're ready to give some you're ready to wine and dine somebody it looks like page of wands a passionate message And you have the Queen of Swords. You could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Looks like they've been feeling out in the cold and they're ready to send out a passionate message. <clears throat> the outcome, the Four of Wands, some type of marriage or partnership. Nine of Swords, anxiety. That's anxiety about something. And nine of pentacles. Wow. There's anxiety here about some whether to stay single or to partner up with somebody. And you're going to be hearing from somebody, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, about this. But um, they're feeling out in the cold right now. And they're ready to send a passionate message to you. You have love in your heart for this person. You're sitting there with your flowers, your wine, you got a picnic basket. <laughs> You're ready to give an offer to that person. Looks like you got even a little love letter right there. And you're ready to go out and travel in the world. You've been hard at work at about something. Underneath the deck, ooh, 10 of cups. Look at those two. They're sitting there all happy in their rainbow energy. They got their cups, they're hugging each other and they're watching their kids play. That's a lot of love there. That's a good outcome. Okay. Let's get a clarifying card for each of these. Let's clarify each of these cards. The Hierophant is clarifying the Knight of Cups, so it could have to do with a marriage, maybe a marriage to, huh, some type of formal something. Ooh, and then the Two of Wands, you have the Sun. It looks like you're prospecting out in the world, and you're looking for some type of happiness out there. And then your work, Eight of Pentacles, you're having to defend yourself. Make sure you have up some boundaries on your work. 
Um, yeah. Okay. What's the situation? Clarifying the Five of Pentacles is the Eight of Swords. Being all stuck in thoughts. Got a blindfold on. Swords represent thoughts. Um, this person's in their head about being left out in the cold. And there's, they got some stuck energy. Tell me more about this passionate message. Two of Wands, they're also prospecting out in the world to see what out is out there. And something's going to be happening in like two weeks. Wands, that's a timing card. Wands are weeks. Clarify the Queen of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. Um, this person, this Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, also likes being single. And then clarifying the Four of Wands is the Hanged Man. Seeing things from a different perspective. Surrendering something. This person... The outcome is surrendering some idea about marriage. Looking at it from a different perspective. Nine of Swords. You can get the Empress card. Um, there's some anxiety about giving birth to something. I think this person that you're dealing with sees you as the queen of all queens. And they want to partner with you. They definitely want to invest in you. They want to plant some seeds with you. They see how you are single and independent and ready to give birth to something. They want to be part of that. Underneath, ooh, an unfair fight. This is right after heartbreak and this person comes along and just picks up the swords, carries them off. But you also did get the miracles card. Okay. Let's see here. What kind of blocks do we have? What kind of blocks are going on here? Seven of Swords, Six of Wands, and Eight of Swords. Huh. Okay. It looks like your victory over something is being blocked by some sneaky behavior. Some type of sneaky behavior and some stuck energy. That's your victory is getting blocked by that um, sneaky behavior. And if you look at closely in this card, this person is blocked and they're stuck. And it has to do with those three women right there. They're blocking some type of victory for you. And it's because they keep trying to make you feel a certain way. But if you notice, you have that um, 
you have like this tall person behind you, a garden angel. Remember I was talking about the angels? See those wings on there? That person is always there to help you. You don't have to listen to those three ladies. You have your own help. You can get out of this situation and move on to victory. But somebody has been sneaking around doing something, trying to block your victory. Okay, advice, the hermit. That's about looking within. Ooh, and then you get the moon secrets. Um, one more card, please. What advice? And five of swords. It looks like you need to look within and deal with whatever is hidden inside you. Maybe you feel shame about it or something about some kind of unfair fight that occurred for you but other people have the same type of shames things that happen in the moonlight or have happened secrets and the advice to you is that um, you need to look within and pull out your staff and help out other people get through the same type of situations. You're the wise healer. And you know how to help people get through what you have gone through. Okay, what else does spirit want you to know? The King of Cups, the Devil, and the Seven of Wands. Um, Spirit wants you to know that there's a, a danger here for you with King of Cups. This King of Cups combined with the Devil is like, Toxic energy. Somebody pulling your strings. Maybe it's you're in danger of drinking too much. But you have to learn how to fight this. You got this seven of wands. You can see the sparring going on there. There's a battle going on here. And I think it has to do with maybe not so much... Um, drinking but king of cups is about your feelings but it could be easy for you to get caught up in this toxic behavior of being tied to something that you know is not good for you it doesn't have to be drinking it could be anything it could be food it could be watching too much youtube <laughs> it could be um I don't know if anybody exercises too much, but it could be many things. It could be drinking too much pop. It could be having too much sugar. Um, it could be a lot of things. People have their different vices. But it's telling you that um, in order for you, remember that your energy to begin with was this Knight of Cups where you had like a small offer to give to somebody. In order for you to become this king of cups, you have to learn how to deal with the toxic energy around you. So you don't get involved with that. The seven of wands is all about putting up your boundaries. Making sure you have good boundaries in place. You had that card to begin with. The hierophant. 
Ooh, and underneath the deck is the star. This is about healing. You can see that person there. They're like a religious leader and they got people bowing down in front of them. That could easily turn into toxic energy. And you're being shown in each instance that you could have happiness. This could be a happy time. You could be this King of Cups. But you have to make sure while you're working that you have good boundaries up. Because you are the Empress. And you have a good partnership. You just have to Surrender to it. You've invested some time and energy. You can remain single. You can look at this partnership that's coming up a little differently. Some people like partnerships that are where you can maintain your independence. So you don't have to have this anxiety about um, whatever partnership you're involved in. Make sure you have the good, good boundaries up. You know how to do that. You've lived through this before. And you know where you've gone wrong in the past. The question is, have you learned from it? And can you teach other people? how to move forward. It doesn't have to be hidden what you've gone through. This unfair fight, the Five of Swords card showed up twice. It's an unfair situation that you've had to go through. The sneaky behavior, having you stuck. You're going to get unblocked and win because you are the Empress and you're a healer. You have happiness coming forward from, and you can learn from this unfair fight. There's miracles at hand. Bama P. See you later.